Line is a rich metaphor for the artist. It denotes not only boundary, edge, or contour, but is an agent for location, energy, and growth. It is literally movement and change, life itself. Lance Esplund. Anya Tish Gallery is thrilled to present Threading Through the Territories, a two-person exhibition featuring textile paintings by Korean-born, Dallas-based artist Booming Kim and a thread installation by Venezuelan-born, Houston-based artist Luisa Duarte. Both artists use thread as a metaphorical armature to explore the nature of the line and the potential held therein, abandoning two-dimensional restrictions of painting and challenging the viewer's visual and tactile perception. Hello, my name is Bumin Kim. This is an exhibition titled Threading Through the Territories. It's a two-person exhibition and it's at Anya Tish Gallery in Houston. A prime material of my uh, work is the use of thread. Uh, the thin, long line of thread allude pencil marks and brush marks for me. So I wanted to um, push the boundaries of what defines painting and drawings. Um, I uh, love to explore the nature of line and the potential that this material has. The transformative power of materiality is at play in my work. Um, I repurpose the context of thread to emphasize the energy and delicacy and a grace of painting. Um, both the weight of line as thin and singular and the collection of line as solid form are sensitive tools found in my work. It's especially inspired by elements found in nature, which is in my daily life and in my memories, such as the sky, fields wearing tons of colors, trees, and rains, oceans, and such. I love exploring the sceneries, learning how they change naturally in color, texture, and form with each change in weather and seasons and days and nights. These things that make me want to slow down and enjoy simple pleasures getting up from my busy day. Nature has powerful energies, carrying with them a lot of in information and feels, yet they are so harmonic like orchestra and make my feelings um, converging into one large category of the emotion. With this kind of exploration, my work is often extracted and simplified landscape, landscape into geometric color fields. What I see and what I feel and what I imagine are visually translated into subtle hues, lines, forms, and colors in my work. With the uh, inspirations, I do sketches. I like to do it because uh, I think it's a fast way to bring out your idea to life. I actually brought some examples. I made it with my uh, with markers and pens. I used diagonal line in my work. It was actually inspired by mountains. If you see my work in person, and if you are standing right or left side of the painting, then this diagonal line will be disappearing. But then when you walk uh, towards to the center of the painting, then this diagonal line will be showing up gradually. Uh, it was so interesting um, to find out this dialogue between my inspirations and um, the happenings on my paintings. And it's a kind of metaphor of climbing the mountain. So this work titled Emerald Isle um, is inspired by one island in Thailand. Um, I went there a long time ago, and, but I cannot forget the ocean that was filled with this beautiful emerald color. Um, but the sun came down and it shifted its atmosphere totally and there was just a deep dark sea and for so in this piece i wanted um, 
accumulating those shared memories to put it together um, into one composition. So this exhibition will up until May 15th at Anya Tish Gallery. So if you haven't watched this show yet, then please come check out. Hi, I'm Luisa Duarte, and I'm so excited to be here at Anja Tisch Gallery for the first time in this exhibition, Threading Through the Territories. For this occasion, I have done a site-specific installation, one of my works that I call Territories. These territories are made with um, elastic loops, elastic thread, connectors, and for the first time, I'm incorporating the trapezoid an element that is a constant in my work. These trapezoids started as a digital print, then they transform into uh, three-dimensional objects. I use them also for my monotypes, printing and my monoprints. I use them again as references in my three-dimensional um, sculptures, and now I am incorporated them here. Another constant, that I use in my work, besides the, the trapezoids, is the parallelogram. It's a red parallelogram that appears suddenly in my digital prints, in my monotypes as well, not in color though, but it's, it's a constant. It's like a call to an accent, a memory to just stop and look somewhere else. In this case, in this territory, it's called Breaking Free. And the parallelogram is the one that is after the name. He's breaking free from this territory where the other tra uh, trapezoids are enclosed in it. Anyway, I, I use the, the thread, the thin thread and the, the not that thin thread to relate to the fragility of the borders to how we can establish limits and how permeable they are. That is a constant in my work that look for limits, for protection, for refuge, for a sanctuary. And these trapezoids, these lines, these shapes created here provides for me and hopefully for you, if you are seeing this, a, a refuge a way to escape from the chaos outside, to find peace, to find serenity, to relax just a little. And besides, well, every viewer has a different perspective. Thank you for watching. And this show, Threading Through the Territories at Anja Tisch Gallery, is going to be on view until May 15. So make sure to come and visit, make your reservation, and again, thank you very much.